I, uh, I'm tired. We're tired. Me and Kyle are tired. Still not really anybody watching the channel yet. Feel like we're kind of doing this to an empty audience. By design though, I think pretty soon, actually I know so pretty soon, we've got a really cool IP that we're, we have in the works. We just gotta get it finished. We're about three months out um, on content. So when you see these things, minus the vlog and the chat cast, those are a lot more recent than the content that you see um, being released. And it's by design. We wanted to give ourselves a little bit of a runway, but um, you know, me and Kyle have been talking lately and work's been kicking my hind in and him too you know and we're both we're both pretty tired pretty wore down have to find the drive and the motivation to keep this going but we are and i think that's kind of something that you know while we're going through it i wanted to talk a little bit about with you on this vlog is to just push through and sometimes you have to feel like you know your best really your best foot wasn't really forward but maybe it was it's just that you know the energy is just kind of down and you're not as excited and really frankly it's just seasonal depression this time of year and we know that right so we know we have to push through the downtime and and work through it but you also have to respect and this is a thing that I've been learning as I get older you have to respect the fact that you need the negative energy now I don't necessarily mean you know you need the bad words and the bad material to absorb and bad habits what I mean is is you got to respect and allow yourself to creep into moments of rest and if you are really fighting for a moment of rest right now don't battle it embrace it realize you know you got time all right breathe relax and don't make yourself feel full of shame for needing to just veg out play a video game Watch a show. Well, I did that yesterday. You want to do it again? Do it again today. Maybe tomorrow, force yourself or push yourself, encourage yourself to work on your goals a little bit. But don't work on your goals until the point to where you hate them, right? We have to have balance. And I noticed that in our, our work ethic culture that we have, especially here in America, where it's like you're constantly grinding and there's like this pride and there's these expectations and there's all of this pressure that you feel from within yourself, from the, the culture, your peers, um, the, your mentors, the, you know, the people you look up to, your parents, your teachers, and, and it just, we have to remember that there is another side of the human. And if we don't nurture the side that needs healing, that needs to slow down, and we don't respect its needs sometimes, that you can feel incomplete. Our whole goal in our life and what we are going for is the feeling of being complete or the, the best sibilance of being complete as we can with the emotion versus logic, with the push and the pull, with the awake and the and slumber, with being hungry and being fed, with being exercised and being rested and, and challenged and, and, and relaxed. And we have this constant push-pull, this yin and the yang, which is why I have an immense amount of respect for Eastern philosophy religions, I feel like they did a very, very good job at alluding to this cycle, this wave, this push, this pull that we all go through and learn how to really reconcile that, connect it and respect it and bring it into the reality in their life. And that's kind of what we have to remind ourselves of all the time. And in the down energy, you can still be productive, just not as productive. But as long as that trend is going a little bit this way, that's pretty good, right? When is when is hitting a a single with the bases loaded? When is that not okay? It's not a home run. A grand slam is awesome, but but you're you're not. We don't hit grand slams all the time. Baseball players don't. They don't throw the game-winning touchdown all the time. But you get. You get the first down in the middle of the field and kept the play going. You you made the soccer goal you to tie it up. Maybe not win it, but or or, or even if it's not the goal, it's the you made the play. You steal the ball. Uh, you stole the ball. You get the idea. We always are so focused on the home run, on the touchdown, on the ending that we I feel lose sight of the fact that sometimes the ground rule double, sometimes the single, sometimes the bunt that got the the winning run in. Sometimes that is what matters 
in this moment. And when you're down energy, think of yourself like that. Like you're just gonna make this small critical play that keeps your moment, the forward momentum going. And that's, that's good enough. That's good enough today. It's good enough this week. It's good enough through this season. After a year of lockdowns and everything like that, and then this winter has been extra difficult. Maybe just keeping the little bit of forward momentum is good enough right now. And that we should be pleased with that and that we shouldn't degrade ourselves for needing more relaxed time. We've all been under a lot of emotional and mental stress and some of us physical on top of it. So we have to respect where we're coming from and you have to respect what season you are in your life right now and what season the world is in because we all kind of feel this way, okay? To some degree, we all feel this way and we feel the pressures of the world. And we need to breathe and realize that it's fine to relax and it's fine to take some time for yourself and repair and don't feel guilty about this and push, just push. So that's what I wanna say, push, but respect yourself and your limitations. Take it easy.